Hello, sweet friends. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tracy. I am a true craft junkie and I love to share rustic country crafts just like this wreath. Now I do a lot of different crafts here on my channel. And one of the things that I do is share the wreath ideas that I have, that I have designed for a part-time local business that I do work for. Um, they sell the wreaths in their uh, store, in their gift shop. And so I like to design them, film them while I'm designing them so that other people that, you know, don't live in my area can get the ideas and maybe recreate it if you have the supplies. So let's go ahead and get started and I will share what I did to create this cute spring Easter wreath. This little uh, pickup truck is from Dollar General and even though it's already cute, I decided to add some doodling with my black Sharpie marker and just added some highlights uh, with some white paint and made it really, really cute. Four bases of my wreath. Uh, grapevine is my favorite to work with. I also use wire and styrofoam in some instances. I also like to uh, mix a deco mesh and grapevine, uh, just like I'm doing here with this uh, wreath. Uh, for the mesh, I'm using some 10 inch mesh that um, aqua blue color was a 21 inch and I just cut it about I don't know eight inches and then I cut that one in half and then I'm just making an x or a plus um, sign I'm just rolling it up just like in a tube I don't know if, if it has a name that's just what I do and then I just take some Chanel stems and just thread it through the grapevine and then attach my bundles of deco mesh. Then now I'm just drilling tiny holes in four corners of the truck and then I will use some wire and I like to use the wire from the Dollar Tree. I get this in the automotive section and um, that is the wire that I use mostly for my crafts now and I'm going to attach uh, the truck to the grapevine wreath with that wire. I like to use a different variety of foliage from Dollar Tree, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, other craft stores, anywhere that I can get good quality, very nice foliage is what I like to do uh, for my wreaths. Now, if you've ever bought a wreath or if you shop on Etsy or if you sell wreaths, you know that they can get quite expensive. So I get uh, one of the questions I get all the time is how much do you sell your wreaths for? And the thing is, is that currently right now I work part time for a local business. They set their prices. And so I know what I need to do in order to keep um, the wreaths at a certain price point for our local area. So depending on what your local area is will depend on what you can charge and what people will pay for a wreath. But Etsy is a very good um, source to check out uh, to kind of monitor what the type of wreaths you're going, you know, that you've made at what they're going for. And um, also kind of what area you live in will depend on how much you can charge for a wreath, uh, what people will pay for. I also work full time. I have a full time job. Um, I kind of do crafts on the side. That is the reason why I don't have my own shop. And I really appreciate so many people saying, hey, I would buy your stuff. Y'all make me feel really nice. But that is in the future plans once I can retire from my day job and become a full time crafter. So then now I'm going to add some carrots from this garland that I got at Hobby Lobby and I just took them off the garland and just wired them on uh, the grapevine. Here are the ribbons I'm using for this wreath. Uh, they mostly either came from Walmart or Hobby Lobby or Joann's and I used three of those the orange the buffalo check and then the burlap with the orange um, 
I cut those at 10 inches. And then this one right here is from Joann's and I um, use my tiny attacher. I just make two loop bow and then I staple it in the middle and that kind of helps with my bow making. And so here are all the ribbons that I have. Uh, like I said, I cut those at 10 inches and then this is what I'm going to make them look like. I just stack them on top of each other and then I put that bow on there and then I added some raffia. To uh, make a hanger for my wreath, I like to use the very stiff wire that my husband picked up for me many years ago um, from a home improvement store. I think it was uh, Home Depot. And I just thread it through the back of the grapevine and, you know, make sure that it's secure. And uh, that is the hanger for my wreath. And then now I'm just adding some pit berries. This uh, is a garland that I took apart and I just added um, pit berries to the wreath just to add a whimsical effect. 